But I hope you're having an amazing day and welcome to this video. Now, today I'm going to pull back the curtain and I'll show you exactly how I and my clients are leveraging the social funnel to not only build a personal brand, warm up the whole pipeline and three, in my case, cash collect over 50K from this phenomenal alone on a monthly basis. Of course, we have other stuff in place. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Dennis Romes. I'm the owner and founder of Alphatrend.io. We are a growth and consulting business, and we help agencies, coaches, consultants leverage the growth part of model where they get to charge high ticket prices, solve client acquisition, and make a lot of money along the way. And of course, Social Funnel is just one of the elements that we copy and paste into their business. We do a lot more than that from training their appointment setters, from building their whole team, systems, automation, all that good stuff. But today I want to break down the Social Funnel alone. And just for you to have a gist of a couple of results that we got, for example, we have Evo, he just joined our program and he closed a 10K client the other day. We had Lewis, he joined our program in the first four weeks, closed over 30K in revenue. We had Julie who, who closed 15K. We have Kareem, we have Stephanie, all amazing entrepreneurs that are leveraging the growth partner model to make money in this space in an ethical and in a way that's worth building businesses. So. If you want to know more about that, we have a couple links down in the description. If not, let's just keep diving into it. Okay, so first things first, what is a social funnel and why do you need one? Now, the whole premise is that one is to promote your brand so that more people hear about you and about what you do so that two, they are warm enough to buy. The last thing that you want is like book a lot of meetings, get a lot of people on your calendar and then they need to think about it. And they need to think about it because they don't know enough. So let's not waste any more time and let's dive into this, okay? So I will show you not only how this whole thing works on a high level view, but also break down a little bit of the technicality of it, right? And if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the, or ask in the comment section down below, I'm more than happy to get back to you. Right, so first thing, social funnel. We start, we use different different platforms, but IG and YouTube are go-to ones. We start with IG. And as any funnel, you have top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel, right? For those that don't know, top of funnel is the awareness section, right? We get people, a lot of people in that might be interested in the topic, but they don't know who you are yet. And there are two types of ads that you want to run. Yes, this is a paid acquisition play, but it's worth it. Especially if you are serving a B2C clientele. So if you are usually a coach or an agency that works with clients in the B2B space or consultant, if you are in the B2B space, it still works, it still applies, we use it for ourselves, but just bear in mind that things are a little bit more expensive, all right? Now, two types of ads that you want to run, follower ads and DM ads. Follower ads, are pretty simple. The structure that you want to follow is something along the lines of, hey, if you are niche and you are struggling with X, Y, and Z, well, just comment keyword down below so that you can, and go through my past content where I show my, where I show my followers or where I educate my followers on how they can solve problem X, Y, and Z. Right. This is the whole premise of it. You've probably seen a couple of ads like this, but the most important thing is not really what you say, but the most important thing is one, you call out your niche, two, you make sure that they ident identify themselves with the pain points that you solve, and three, you give them a good call to action, a good reason to follow you. Why do you want to follow them? Because you don't only want to create attention, but you want to earn it. Right. Now, on the flip side, you have also DM ads, which is when you, you've probably seen this before as well when you promote, same thing as I said, like call out the niche, call out their pains, but CTA is, if that's you, send me a message with keyword, right? So, and how do you do this? Because the thing is like, where do you launch these ads from? Because I, I would assume that you've seen a lot of information, but I'm not here to sell you the funnel, I'm here to show you 
how this works so that you can give it a shot, try it on your own and make some money. So that later on, once you're doing more than 10K per month, perhaps we can help you go from 10, 25, 50 and beyond, right? So you want to launch these two ads from the IG itself. We A-B tested it and we are still A-B testing furthermore, but as of right now, if you launch them from the Instagram platform, you click boost, you will get a better return on followers. What do I mean? The cost per profile visit, which is the objective here, will be more expensive, but you will get more followers. Now, if you do this through the business manager, like through the meta business manager, you will get a cheaper cost per profile visit, but you'll get a lot less followers. So on our end, it just makes sense to run them through the IG platform. DM adds the same thing. Even though you can do this on both platforms, like you want to use the IG platform just because like in general, we see the best results there. Now, bear in mind, if you are based in the US, you will be able to see all the metrics. If you are based in the EU, due to privacy laws, you will probably not see the cost per message. So you need to kind of calculate or have a spreadsheet to kind of calculate how many people are DMing you and you see which ones are the best ads. So, and what is the whole purpose? Here, the whole purpose is top of funnel, generate followers, messages, and engagements, right? Especially if you're starting out, you can start with like 20 bucks a day and let it run, right? And the whole goal of this is for you to generate leads so you can start engage with them and start conversations, right? It's all about starting conversations. And the whole premise beside, behind this is when you have more time than money, because you can do cold outreach, right? You can find a list of people and DM them on Instagram. But the idea is to let pay so that the algorithm, the meta, does the outreach for you or do, does the prospecting for you so that you can have a filter list of potential leads that are warmer than if you were just send them a cold DM, right? Now, a pro tip, if you have a setter, delegate it to them. And as I said, run top of funnel direct from IG. Now, a setter is a key element in your business. Like that's why we focus so much. That's why we call them elite setters. And we have a very strictly training process. We don't sell setter trainings, but we help our clients if they have already have a setter, but we help them train up their setters. If they don't have one, we actually place setters on their business. Now, once we have a good amount of lead flow, especially followers such as engagements, and you start conversations with all of them, you start focusing on middle funnel. The middle funnel is all about like them seeing you everywhere. You want to be omnipresent. You want the moment they open their IG, you want to be the first person they see. How do you do that? By retargeting them with other ads. And retargeting ads, the two best formats that work the best are DM story ads, with the objective is send message and DM video ads. All right. What's the difference? DM story ads, we've probably seen a couple. If you go to my IG at dennis.romace, you will see like a couple of ads like this, where what we do is like, usually we sh show a case study. We say, if you want results like this, or I'm doing this and that, like just promote, and then keyword, send me keyword X. So exactly the same format, as this one, but just for the story placement. Now, what are the nuances? You don't want to launch them from the IG, these ones. Because to retarget, you need to do this on the Meta Business Manager, right? And the story style, use a lifestyle photo. We found out that these are the ones that work the best. Number two, CTA should be DM me or send me a message with keyword. And as for placements, run on story placement only. Target all your followers. If you have more than a thousand followers, if you have less than a thousand, use all the data from the pixel, create different uh, different audiences and include followers, engagers and everything. And as I, as I said, use the Meta Business Manager. Now, if you want like, if you want me to break it down like in more detail, like the technicality, if you want me to do a video like how to set this up on the Meta platform, drop me a comment and I'm more than happy to shoot a video about that. Now, the second type of ad they want to run is DM video ads. So, here are the settings. As I said, I'm going to give you everything, the whole juice. So 15 seconds max, keep the format, like call out, call out your niche, call out their pain points and give them a call to action. 
So if they want solve pain points, just DM me this word, right? And this one, where with the story ads, you want to run them on story placements only. With these ones, since they are videos and they are usually, they are article videos, you want to run them on story, feed, and real placements, right? Again, targeting, same thing, and use Meta Business Manager. Now, how do you first, first question that a lot of people ask about this is like, how much budget should you allocate to the retargeting? How much should you allocate to the top of funnel? Usually use the 70-30 ratio as a guideline. So let's say that you are spending 100 a day, you can allocate 70 to the top of funnel and 30 bucks to DM story ads. Now I will touch a bit on how to scale these things at this funnel, but the whole goal of this is actually to build trust and brand awareness. You want to warm up the ongoing conversations until they book a call, right? Because once you get people's attention, they're not ready to buy. Just who like, why should they trust you? They need to go through more content first. So as a pro tip, if they're not ready yet, send them a long form resource. And this is where the YouTube funnel plays a huge part, but I will break that down for you also in a second. Now, bottom of funnel, it's all about booking appointments and closing the sale. And here you need a killer VSL. If you don't know what a VSL is, it's a video sales letter. And we have a very specific structure that we use so that you can kill it and get as many people super hot, super excited to jump on a call and discuss next steps with you. Now, always send the main VSL so that the prospect is super hot and excited, right? And as a pro tip, host your VSL on a landing page with social proof to increase trust and in closing, right? For example, this is one of our VSLs where we have a video. You can copy the structure, use it the same. It's working for us. You can do the same. A video, we have, um, the calendar and then we also have some client testimonials plus here case studies like all this good stuff so that we like we show hey we are legit we get results for our clients and you can trust us you can get results similar to this if you follow the, our our plan our program and then you can book a call with us so do the same for you this might help you out so having a killer vsl is crucial and you you can have more than one right you can have one that covers different angles but then you should have a main one that covers the whole structure of what you do, the main transformation. All right. So as of right now, this is how the structure looks like. Top of funnel, get a lot of, a lot of followers, a lot of messages and engagements, start conversations with them Two, retarget them through the business manager. And here you want to, especially if you have a small audience, start by like allocating like four to five bucks per day to each ad because Unlike traditional ads, you don't want to like, if you find a winner ad, you don't want to just increase the spend vertically. What you want to do is add more, more ads similar to that one and add more budgets on that one. For example, let's say that you are spending 20 bucks on this one. Instead of increasing the budget from 20 to 50, you want to launch a second one that's similar with 30 bucks and then another one and then another one and then, then another one. Why is that? Cause you want to have more and more new, fresh content and have and target people with different angles. And at the end of the day, if you know how to communicate the transformation that you are providing to the market, to your audience, they will resonate. And there, this is how we've seen the best results. Now for this one, it's all about as much, you want to have as many as possible, at least five ongoing and at the low budget, keep an eye out for the frequency. Frequency is how many people see your ad per month. I would make sure that you keep it like under 10 times. Otherwise you start just being annoying and people will start unfollow you, right? Now here's the kicker. Some people might follow you, start a conversation, but they are just not ready yet, right? And that's why we feel like Instagram is an amazing platform to get you some attention and generate good, quick attention. YouTube is the medium to long-term play. And this is where you nurture people because one thing is like consuming a 30 minute video or a 30 second video, I rather say, and okay, it's cool, but 
they don't get educated. They don't get to know you like who you are, how your personality is. Now, a video like this one, where you get to hear me out for a couple of minutes, about 10, 15 minutes, like breaking down. Now you can have a sense like, is this guy trust? Does it seem trustworthy? Like, how is he as a, like as a person? Does he sound cool? Do, do I resonate with him? Like, and it's not only about expertise, right? Because if when you are when you make the decision to work with someone, it's also about like, hey, do you want to work with that person, right? Because I mean, if you're not into what I am into, probably you don't want to work with me, and that's fine. So let's crack on into the YouTube funnel. It's a lot simpler, but more challenging. So. YouTube, we, we keep this, we have the same premise, right? You want to run subscriber ads. Now, here's the secret sauce. You want to target competitor channels, right? People that are bigger than you, especially on YouTube, and you can target their type of audience or their channels so that you can show up on top. And you want to use the same structure that you would use for the Instagram follower ad that I just share with you. Like, hey, if you are this type of person and you have problem X, Y, and Z, and you want to solve them, well, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, go through my past content where I show my, my audience how I go from A to B, point A to B, right? And again, the whole goal here is to generate subscribers, comments, and likes on top of funnel have people to spend more time on your videos. And then in the middle of funnel, on your content, you want to have a content cadence that we actually, this is some, one of the most important things that we share on our program, the Alpha Acquisition Program, the content cadence. But you want to have top of funnel videos, middle of funnel videos, and bottom of funnel videos. And middle of funnel, it's all about explainer videos. For example, just like this one, where you get some good tactical information and two VSLs. Your sales that actually do the selling, break down what you do, A to B process, A to Z process, and all that good stuff. Bottom of funnel again, you want to have links, just like I have on this video, first link in the description where you can book a call. And then hopefully, if you feel that, hey, this solution can help me out, on our case, we help people that are doing less than 10K go or around 10K all the way to 25 and 15 and beyond. If if that's you, well, you're eligible, click, click on, on the link and you can book a call with us. So I know that I said I was going to go tactical. I kind of did, like I kind of shared a little bit about the how much you should spend, a little bit of the scripting of the videos. But like, if you actually want me to break this down in more detail, I'm more than happy to do a video only about like the video structure and two about the setting script. So as I said, we have a lot of focus on the appointment setting and we have a whole training about how to book people into appointments, make sure they are qualified and when is the best time to send them resources. So if you want that, let me know, but I hope this serves you well. So give this a shot. If you feel that you have at least a thousand bucks or 600 to a thousand bucks to play with this month, do that, give it a shot and let me know how it go. And I'm more, and I'm super excited to see how that translates into results, into closes. All right. So keep being awesome. Again, if you want to know how the Alpha Acquisition program works, First link in the description, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.